The topic of this conversation is going to be global risk management. And by the end of this video, you're going to have a much better understanding of exactly what you need to do and how much money, how much capital you need in order to create wealth and actually pull off the business of trading. I get questions all the time. How much money do I need to trade? How much money do I need to start? And that's really the wrong question. The question you should be asking yourself is, do I know how to trade? Uh, that's the first thing you got to know. Hey, my name is Frank Bunn and I have been teaching people how to globally manage risk and learn how to get consistent trading since Ben and Jerry's had just three flavors. Uh, yeah, it's been that long. Okay. So what we want to talk about is like, how do we approach this? So now the one given of this conversation is that we actually know uh, we're going to assume that you know how uh, how to trade. That means you've learned how to properly analyze uh, price data and how to uh, systematically reduce and eliminate risk uh, throughout the cycle. There's several ways to do that. Uh, one of them is when we take a look at, at how we're going to structure positions, we have, um, we have what's called a statistical arbitrage model. And over here we have plunging, all right? Now, the plunge obviously is the all in, okay? Meaning you're going to invest the entirety of that of certain amount of capital in each trade and then compound that. The stat arb model is going to take a series of positions, all right? And simultaneously, uh, leverage the account with multiple positions. This leverages the account with simply one position. Okay. Now, a lot of people say, well, that, geez, that sounds horribly risky. Remember, we understand how to trade and how to reduce and eliminate risk. Okay. Because depending on where you are in the capitalization scale, um, you're going to, you may need to plunge. Uh, stat art may not work for you. You may be undercapitalized, but that doesn't mean that you can't create wealth. Okay, so let's take a look at, let's just take a look at this being, um, okay, there's the two models, and then down here is capitalization, all right? So what we're going to see is that over here, um, okay, so we're going to go, this is basically no money down here, and then here is like inf infinite wealth, okay? So depending on where you are on the scale, all right, so if you are a a smaller account, let's say from several thousand on up to 10 grand, then you're going to be over here as the account grows up into the, into the six and seven figures, it's going to be easier, um, to, to run a, a, a stat arb model. Okay. Now still the trader, depending on, it doesn't matter which, um, which side you're on, you're still going to have to understand how to do it. Okay. But plunging is not necessarily risky. Okay. So contrary to what a lot of people think. Okay, so with that understanding, let's just take a quick look at, at, at how this comes together. So irrespective of how much cash we have, we usually use what's called, um, when I work with people, clients or, or students, I use what's called a barbell method, all right? And essentially what that is, is we take five to 10% of the liquid net worth so, for example, we have uh, we have tr Trader Joe here, all right, and he's got he's got a hundred thousand uh, in uh, his liquid net worth is a hundred k. All right, so what he's going to do is he's going to begin with five to ten percent of that, which is going to be five to ten thousand dollars, and he's going to leverage that two to one. Right now, he's not concerned about using leverage because he's able to eliminate risk long before uh, he's ever going to get a margin call. So that's not going to be an issue. Okay, so this is how he can globally manage risk. Okay, so he's only investing a small amount, two to one. Now, what does that look like? Well, if he, depending on on well, depending on what he's able to do. Um, probably the best thing for him would be either a very small stat model 
or um, or plunging. Now let's just take a look and assume that um, this is Trader Jerry, and Jerry just has uh, all he has in in savings is five thousand dollars. Okay, so all right, so. Generally, he's going to have to bump up the barbell a little bit. He's probably going to have to begin with like 500 to 1,000. And then he's going to leverage that two to one. Okay. So that amount, though, we're going, he's, he's, he's almost going to have to plunge. Okay. So now plunging is not a problem if the trader is consistent and can reduce risk. So we're going to look at why. Um, why plunging is, is a great way to produce wealth. So we're talking about here. Okay. We're going to plunge to wealth. So we have what's called, um, okay. Plunge to wealth. All right. So what happens is we have what's called the rule of 13. All right, so 13 10% trades leverage two to one uh, with rate T margin will take $10,000 to roughly 103,000. All right, granted there's tax concerns, whatever. We're, 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 we're just, uh, this is just, we understand that, that we're not gonna calculate that here. Okay, so then the next 13 will take that 103 to 1.3 million. All right. Now, it's not going to get 10% moves every single time. That's understood. But the trader, what most people don't understand is there are only ever 26 trades away from building wealth, even with a small account. Now, that's a lot of, that, that's psychologically soothing when a lot of students learn that because they think that, well, you know, geez, I just have this small amount of capital. How do I make this work? The plan is you learn how to trade, you learn how to reduce risk, um, you learn how to do it properly and consistently, and then you work as quickly as possible. So what I do um, is once the student understands this and they know how to trade, what we do is we work on, um, on a scan, sort, and selection model, all right? That enables the trader to, to have as many, throw as many snowballs, build the largest sample as quickly as possible, given his, his time, his interest, and his skill set. How good is he or she? Okay. These are all things that you can scale. The better that you get, the more screen time you have, the faster you can move. All right. So it requires trading requires a skill to first be developed. All right. That skill has to be developed. All right. So over here is the over here is the promised land. Over here is wealth. Skill has to be developed. The, the, the more skillful a trader is, the more screen time he has, the better he can reduce and eliminate risk, the better he can locate low, very low risk market entries over time down here, the easier it's going to be for him to do that. All right, so what we do is we coach uh, traders on how to first build that skill set um, so that they can develop the proper habit structure and, 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 um, and approach to it and then have them, them take a look at global risk management and how they're going to ultimately create wealth. This is generally not an industry where you want to focus on making a living. I've talked about that uh, quite a number of times because that frustrates most traders with the cost, uh, taxation, um, and also the time. It's, this is not something that you can do uh, for an eternity. Okay, so it offers very little in the way of, of something that a career would in terms of retirement, um, benefits or anything like that. Okay, so if you want to figure out how to make this work for you, what you want to do first is learn how to trade. And um, I teach people to do that all the time. You, there's a link below this video where you can join my free training session to get an idea about the exact steps that a trader takes to get from a beginner or novice or even intermediate level on up to a very skilled trader. And then you can attack 
uh, global risk management for the quickest way to build wealth. Thank you very much and have a great day.